kan This works. There we go. Moon time. This one get to the moon. Well, oh. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about this. I'll show this really quick. This is pretty fun. Oh wait, I want to. Oopsie. Rude baby. This thing should not fly. just flying around a little bit. Something a little more uh, stable. 
stable. <sighs> also, something that just flies better in general. I can tell you for certain, it is not that. Uh, open. Okay, it's microcraft. Okay, I need to delete these auto saves. They're kind of. Okay. Space shuttle test planes. Yeah, here we go. Redbird. <laughs> One of the most reliable things I've ever made. Time to go up. Gear up. Now we fly. I like it. Sure that, like that it's gonna be associated with like a whole fun. Yeah. Go buzz by the launch pad. Here we go. Ground comes at you fast. Here we go. What's that look like from this one? Wow, crazy. Buzz the tower. I think flies so well. Here we go. Oh, that's it. That's an eagle. Uh oh. Pull up. Uh oh. <laughs> Clipped my wing off. Oh, that's, that's unfortunate. <sighs> that is... That is unfortunate. Okay. Um... Guess we're gonna revert. <laughs> They gave us like a tiny little plane. I want to try th the bridge. I want to try the bridge challenge. I'm just gonna use the stock though, uh, but not these colors.
Maybe it looks okay. What if I did like that? Just one metal. That looks better. Launch. No, not launch pad. One. Same stupid thing. <laughs> Here we go. Daisy. Hmm. <sighs> hmm. All the boys are busy. Darn. Okay. We're gonna hit go. Capture seems so far away though, it's like... Oh god. That's what I get for messing with the camera. Capture just seems wrong. Maybe auto is just what I want. Ah! That's 60 meters per second, okay. Seems like a comfortable 70 would be enough to get this thing off the ground. So much easier. Crap. Hmm. Maybe we should just try coming in from the other side. I'd love to try it with my flight stick. I don't think this game has flight stick to support. Oh, that is... Alright, let's see if we get hit. Mark, 
to 1.5, or Mach 0 0.5. About half the speed of sound right now. I don't know if this can get me supersonic. Definitely has funny air. Might be able to. The wheel right here is limiting how much air this thing gets. Even better at like flying maneuvers. sideways. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, that's enough of that. <laughs> Mission failed. And we'll try again later. Too hard. Too gosh dang difficult. I get it. I, get, I mean, I guess it's probably simple enough, but I don't know. I don't know. Okay. What if I make just a regular rocket now? I haven't done that in a little bit. So my problem is I think docking in this game is bugged. There's also no like RCS thrusters, so I don't even want to try docking. Um, so I need to pretty much do a single stage here. Okay. Or like a land and return module. So step one, let me start with a Mark III. Step two is to figure out how in the world I want to do this. So we need a decoupler, right? It's probably small. So it's uh, like I really need it to exist way out here. But what I also need is a. I don't know. No way to do that. I don't think there's any way to do what I want to do with this. Maybe? Maybe there is. Oh. Well, that's helpful. Um. Betcha I could move these down a notch. Maybe. And eh, I don't need to snap on for this a little too. Yeah, this is a little more fine tuning. There we go. Disable that. Now we turn that on. Looks good. Now we switch on the launch abort system. Looks even better. 
Okay, so when docking isn't inevitably bugged, I would like to make this some sort of No, we need docking adapter. Nope, just times one, please. Oh, also that's... What the heck? Oh, it's a radial attachment point. That's not what I wanted. Have to read, I guess. Letter. Computer thermal aerodynamics. Coupling. Docking port. That's what I would need. Right, but don't I also want this to be lower? I don't want that. I do want these. Want that to be lower. I think. I mean, maybe I could lower this even more. that right thermal or nope sorry medium heat shield then we would need a is it an inflatable heat shield that's cool we need probably three main shoots so that I would guess parachute nope too big we need radial mounted Times three selection. I would assume that like right here makes the most sense. I don't know why it's coupled on sideways that way. It's, it's kind of funny. Okay. that in, put that down, just to kind of get it inside there a little bit. Yeah. Okay, boom, the lion. I think that looks good. Next thing is simply just getting one more decoupler. Right here, nope, it's this one, medium, and we're at the bottom here, now we need to paint, white probably, see white and black, how'd that look, I don't know, part, no, we need white and white for that, maybe the coupler, There we go. That looks better. Okay. Now I really want to go into the parts manager. Thermal. Utility. Here we go. Deploy settings. We will yep. deploy settings. Pretty much. That makes the most sense. Okay, now I need to add some sort of toggle here. Action group manager. Custom one. 
cut. Cut. So one will do. Okay. Ooh, now we need to. I think actually what needs to happen is that, that. Drobe's fire. Okay. Now we need to set the abort sequence. Action groups. Abort. Okay, engine. Okay, so we need to go coupling first. We're gonna do the decouple. And then we're going to toggle engine. That's what the abort button will do. Let her be vehicles save oh I see oh okay. um capsule Lun lunara capsule design there we go I probably should try a launch escape test. That would make sense. Right. Alrighty, in three, two, one, go! It works. <laughs> Revert to launch. I just need to spam the space bar. <laughs> the abort sequence works. I'm gonna try that one more time though. Alright, FGs. Bam, all of it. Ten, nine, eight. I cut the robes. Eight point three. That's not too bad. Boom. All right, now we're gonna revert to VAB. Cool. That works. Now I need to try a inflate abort test, I think. So we're going to do We're gonna try an inflate abort. Which means a pretty much just need a SRB. I think that'll cut cut it. Medium SRB. Okay. And this should let me do an IFA. Incredible. Ten. Nine. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Booster ignition. We are good. Booking it. Go ahead and pitch over. Good though. It's way out. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to abort. Uh oh. Hit the wrong button. We prefer to launch. I I I, I forgot.
got I have to manually hit the abort key. I hit one and cut the drogues. <sighs> okay. Let's just go. We're gonna go. Face retrograde. Now we're going to jettison. Oh. Now we're gonna come all the way over here. Cool, now we're going to fire the drogues. Too high. No. Oh. Oh, no, they deploy at five thousand, which is what you want. Four. Slowing down. It's doing their job. Up. I don't know why that time warp is so loud. Means to open up. And that should slow us down to 8.6. Perfect. Okay. Touchdown. Very nice. We do revert to. No, don't revert. Revert to BB. Nah, man, I'm good. I am honestly just testing because it's more um, realistic, I guess. I don't know. Next is to make some sort of lander. That's actually... How much fuel is that? If I... Up? Oh, no, don't need that one. Medium. Seems good. 3,000. Just from that tank? Probably. Now let's get some landing gear. Where is it? Here we go. I 
See, I want to use more of these large ones, but I'm not making a large enough lander for it to matter. I don't think. I mean, if I... For some reason... Did that, and then I... Clipped it... Two, three... One, two, three... See, that just looks dumb. One. I don't. I hate that look. It's just so bad. Uh. Means I really need to switch to using the medium landing gear. And we're going to line that up at the bottom here. There we go. Now last time I tried this, my landing gears were too... Okay, so these extend beyond the engine, which is what you want. I can't really squeeze much more out of that, so... I think it's probably fine. Um, uh, what do we have in Poodle? Open throttle? No? Okay. So we're going to... Like extended. No. Okay, that's my landing stage. Now I would need a maneuvering stage. So this is medium. So I bet you I could try to make a large stage. Although I don't think I need extra large for this. It seems a little absurd. So I may just try and do another medium stage. Hmm. go let's see here that seems big okay hmm I'd like some sort of transfer stage, but I don't know what to do with it. Like, this is good. Feels a little small. I need something with a little more power, too. Like, skipper doesn't seem. Mainsail, I guess? Is mainsail good in a vacuum, though? 1600 kilonewtons. So it's more powerful in a vacuum. But they all are, I think. Okay, wait, what's the ISP in this? Better ISP. A little bit lower ISV. 322 versus 307. But you're doing 600 newtons. 1600 kilonewtons. So, this seems better, I guess. I don't know. Hopefully, that serves as my. Orbital. Okay, now I need to make a large stage. Go. Um. Medium? No. I need medium to large, so I guess I need to look at the large section here. One. Copy that down. Stick rocket complete. No. Large. Huh. Mammoth 2? How big is this? I think it's huge. I'll, I'll try it. I don't think I've ever used the Mammoth 2 yet. Okay. This thing seems like it's probably gonna flop over. 
flip over and fall. Which ought to be something to watch. I don't know. No. Okay. So I probably need to put the boosters on this, this way, right? So let's get some medium decouplers. I only Two. No. <laughs> Let's do that. More aesthetically pleasing. And get some big engines. Boom. We get to maneuver that down. Perfect. No, we get some aerodynamics. Those cones, slap it on top. Then we get some, I guess, control surfaces. I don't know. What will be the best in aerodynamics? Stabilizers, perhaps? Four stabilizers. It seems so. Okay. Um, I don't like the look of that. So we're gonna close that. Uh, decrease the root length here. Adjust the wing angle. Tip length, make it smaller. There we go. Maybe a little bit bigger. Then change the angle again. There we go. This is a rocket. Now we go to the paint. Right? That is the goal. We paint it to agency colors for parts. Fine, now we're gonna come here. Make it a little bit darker. Boom, set those. Oh, that's the engine plate, I see. Why did I. Do I need an engine plate then? I don't think I need an engine plate if I'm just putting an engine that size on. That makes more sense. We can cut back on the part count. No, we do white. White and black on the nose. No. White and white here. Just know that whatever I do, it's gotta be very similar looking orange all the way up here. Now we can destroy agency colors with this stage, this stage. Okay. This actually probably needs to be silver up here. And then we'll do. Black, black, all the way up. Top. It's something. Okay, now staging. How to stage a rocket. Let's see. Probably want to fire all three and separate. Then fire that, then separate, then fire that and separate. Okay. Maybe that'll work. I hope. Last thing I can think of is ruts. Three, four, one, two, three, 
print along these because I don't want anything crazy going on here. All right, I'm gonna call this little one. Shut. Save. Launch. <laughs> All right, here we go. Try, please. I hope this works. Just notice the boosters are like slightly out of line in the center. Uh oh. It's probably fine. Plenty of thrust. so much so it's in the way. Well, this thing's like getting way up faster than I thought it was. I'm gonna start to pitch way down. I got so much further than I thought I was getting. We're actually gonna go ahead and just go for full on. Horizontal. Yeah. Every booster cut off. Now, please don't blow up anything. Okay. <laughs> Kilometers, pretty decent. Okay. Create a maneuver point. Oh yeah. So we're actually gonna just go ahead and time warp to this maneuver point. Say so I set the maneuver node. Fuel left. Okay. Way more than I thought. Kind of over engineered this thing then. That's fine. Use it to get to the mun. Okay. So 
I have 613. That means I could probably... <gasps> I don't know, how much fuel is it to get to the mutton? About 800. It's not bad. For a nice close encounter. It's the Mun Perry absence, I believe. Seems pretty okay. It's right there. That angle seems weird. Probably fine. We're going to time warp around. Did not mean to bring the whole core stage with me. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I I exited out of time warp and like my two stages I guess just the physics broke and they rammed into each other and the whole thing just exploded. In space. What? In space. Yeah, we love bugs. <laughs> okay. No. Uh, I guess Bob's somewhere. I don't know where Bob is. Oh, the capsule survived. He, you know, I don't know what the heck. Look at all these debris lines. <laughs> I don't know. Something from my rocket just got ejected out of the <laughs> sphere of influence. <laughs> Okay, I don't even know where my orbit is for this craft anymore. Oh god. I think the game's bugging. <laughs> there it goes. Thank, thank you, Kerbal Space. EVA. Just gonna EVA. <laughs> oh, my my perigee. Ah, oh, perfect. Huh? Does he have a parachute? He does not. He's going to die. Cool. I need to just re revert. Huh? Yeah, it's not quite how that works. I have to go around the earth. I don't. I can get him back down. He got no parachute. Also, his like angle of the climb is incredibly steep. Oh God. What? He's he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna die here. 44. I should not have this much. What the heck is going on with the camera? Okay, there we go. Bob is actually going to die. Uh. <laughs> I don't know why is it so laggy all of a sudden. There's no thermodynamics yet, so you can kind of cheese it. <laughs> Bob, please, why don't you have a parachute? Bob, why don't you have a parachute? This it's a, it's an RCS jetpack. It don't have that much thrust. 
so he's just kind of falling. Okay, that's unfortunate. Um, uh, revert to VAB. Well, that's scuffed. Huh. I don't know what happened. The game's not having it either. He really hated what happened. <laughs> um, that. Oh no, that's a bug. Um, yeah, I can. I'm sorry. I just tapped out the read them. Um, let me put this on my phone so I can see that better. I'm not the greatest about reading my chat at the moment. <sighs> okay, um, let me read. yeah, that's a bug. Quick save, quick restore. Yeah, so my thing with quick save is when I do that, there's like a 50 for 50 chance I bring the KSC into orbit. <laughs> and so I try to just do it in one go. <laughs> Um, let me put this up here now. There we go. Now I can see what's going on. Street Nature. Excellent. Uh, and that's why I don't. Uh, maybe this will be like KSP1 when they just bounce off the ground. Mm, I don't know. Maybe not. Plus, I think to point out the game is just frozen entirely, so I'm gonna have to. No? I hear sound. Okay, I'm gonna Alt F4. Out of that. Reopen it. Game was not having that. Such a bug, much frozen. That's what we get for early access. <laughs> it's alright, though. <laughs> Yeah, it's not the worst bug I've experienced, but that one's a little, that one's a little frustrating. Let's see how, how far back this auto save is. Cause I didn't get the save. I'm glad someone else was there to witness the explosion. Okay, so this is just before I had the struts, right? And staged. Okay, so this rocket exists. Uh, we're gonna say Munchot. I'm gonna just call this Luna 1. And I'm gonna save it. Oh, weird. Okay, open. Now I'm going to delete the autosaves. And we'll come back to that later. I do have a working shuttle though. Which is very nice. I just will fly around at this point. Runway one, launch. Yeah, that was a that was a rough that was a rough bug. <laughs> I wasn't expecting, you know, my whole vehicle to suddenly combust in the middle of the space. I mean I know I just kinda threw it together, but that was a little ridiculous. It, it, it takes some patience to play this. Especially with all the bugs. Like, when I think of my shuttle, I can show it here in a bit, but... It, um... It pretty much deleted itself, and I had to... 
build the external tank and boosters again from scratch. I was lucky to save the orbiter before I started building all that, so. But yeah, that was a. Uh, it takes some patience to play this right now. I, put, I just threw this together yesterday. Flies <laughs> honestly better than I could have ever hoped for. It's part space plane. I've tried getting into orbit. I don't think it quite has the delta V. Um, but it easily crosses the atmosphere line because I have I have a methyl X tank right here. I just don't think it's quite enough. I can try. But honestly, I just used to fly around. No? Oh well. There we go. I wish you would have, like, um, Flight 6 support for this. And then also let me go into first person. Yeah, I mean, it's, the wobbling kind of comes and goes. It can, it, it's SAS related, so if I turn it off, boom, there's no more wobble, but, you know, then I also don't have any stability assist. So, I, I can stop the wobbling. Sometimes just find it easier to fly with SAS on, but also I can, I can fly with it off just fine. You have to just be a little more careful. In case it just decides to nosedive. I can try and do a space shot with this. See what happens. I didn't really give it a good honest go, so I might try again. There's no thermal, so I don't think I'd have a massive slowdown. But they also only have like, um, really one type of RCS engine, so it's. and it's just straight out the back, so it only really works for like a space shuttle type vehicle, but can't really do any maneuvering with it, which is a bit painful. Alright, just gonna like, do the worst landing ever. Turn on his ass. Here we go. Expert pilot. Pull up. Pull up. Nope. Go this way. <laughs> and touchdown. I need to like uh oh. It's like no it's like no good way to break this thing so far and it just skids like crazy. There we go. Come on. Slow down. Nice. Thank you. The braking wasn't that smooth, but... You know, <laughs> a landing's a landing. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why the... This thing really wants to nosedive into the ground every time I try and brake. I don't know if the... Like, the front landing gear is just not far enough forward, or what the deal is. I mean, maybe the brake... Maybe I just want to halt on the braking power of this thing to like 30%? I don't know. No idea. But, I'll revert to launch. I'm not trying to... Yeah, I just realized that. It's a bit, it's a 
bit crazy having it wanting to nosedive into the ground. There we go. Okay, so what I need is I don't really have a quick toggle for this, so I'm gonna have to do it manually. It's fine. I'll just roll down, throttle, go. I do love the procedural wings though, it makes life so much better. We'll say like, tank, I still, I, this is why I think it's lagging. The whole ocean is just underneath the, the space center. <laughs> and it's rendering at the whatever graphic quality. Uh oh, I should go up, there we go. You're set to, so it's it's like a lag machine right underneath the space center. So this game's got some optimizations it needs. I wish it took off with more speed, but it's all right. Just build speed. Get a nice side view of the space center. This thing's huge. Like, look at how long that runway is. I've been in the air for so long now. Alright, there goes the space center. Past Mach 1 already. So this thing wants to wobble like crazy. I'm gonna turn off SAS. Now that we've gotten this fast, just try and ease up on the wobbling. Now I don't know how fast I can go without it like forcefully slowing me down. Kind of what I'm wondering. Pretty Mach two. Um, I think it's like about three thirty-three. Uh, around there. That, that's that's generally how I remember it. Um, per Mach. So you're maybe closer to three fifty. I may be undershooting it a little bit, but that, that's about the range I think of it as. Between three and four hundred. Could be three sixty. I don't know. I think three fifty is just a good solid. I can look it up really quick. Um, just for a second. Let's see here. 343, that's why I'm thinking 333. Yeah, so Mach 1 is 343 meters per second. So, multiply that by 2 for Mach 2, 3 for Mach 3, whatever. So we're probably Mach 3 already. Okay. I don't think I'm really slowing down, but I do lose like 200 meters per second by just doing that very interesting climb. The aerodynamics probably haven't been trimmed that much. But yeah. I'm gonna try and... Okay, am I on a... Oh no, my SAS is just off. I'm trying to get like a shallow slope. I don't want to come out of the atmosphere too soon. The faster I can go horizontally, the better. Basically, I want my perigee down here to be increasing at a higher rate than my apogee. Before I lose all the atmosphere. 
Where are you going at 1250? That's pretty good. I don't know if it's going to be enough. It's going to be close. See, there's no thermal yet either, so I'm not really having to worry about burning up by going this fast. But I do need to get up the atmosphere at some point, so I can't just fly like this forever. Okay, I think I'm starting to hit a hard speed limit. What's the speed you need? Um, I don't know the exact speed. I like I'm I'm well over that. Okay, so Right. So that's what I was right about. My my rapier engines are losing atmosphere now because of my angle. Not quite getting the thrust I want out of it. But they start up fine once I get it. Okay, so we're out from the pause. Now I'm going to switch over to close cycle. Close cycle. And now I'm going to hit go. And now I'm going to basically ascend way up and out. 24, 25. I think it probably took it too shallow. I don't know. We'll find out. 32. I need this to be at 70 for it to count, so I'm a little worried about that. 35. 36. 36. Come on. I'm going fast, so it's crazy. Just missed it. Ran out of liquid oxygen. I definitely need another fuel tank. It would it would be enough. That was so close, I know. I'm just full of the atmosphere and my perigee is almost off the ground, so how far did I get? About half. Like a quarter away. Yeah. It's so like a perfect quarter around the earth. Well, from where the space center was, though, that's, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Like a third of the way around the Earth. Yeah, from the space center, so that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. Now, there's no real way for me to land, I don't think. I can try it. I have liquid fuel left, so I'll be able to restart the engine. I'm gonna go ahead and put them back on air breathing. Close cycle, air breathing, methyl ox deprived. Yep, that's what I thought. Okay, so. There's no. I didn't put any lights on this thing because I don't really intend to fly it in the dark, but I think the landing gears have lights. There's like one light in the cockpit. It's wild. We're just shy of 2,000 meters per second. Definitely going fast. No doubt in that. We've already hit our apogee though. Landing in the dark. Yeah. No lights. Also, I. Have, I'm not very familiar with the uh, new terrain they've done for Kerbin, so I don't know if we're going to be landing in a mountain range or what the case is going to be. I almost prefer it to be an ocean, <laughs> but we'll see. 
At least I'm gonna try landing. I can always just revert back to the VAB. So. But I think it'd be fun to try a landing. Yeah, we're doing a flip. That's cool. Thank you, game. Very cool. Alright, we got plenty of fuel, so. What gives, engines? Are you going to start? Are you? Methane air deprived. Didn't fall apart this time. True. Okay. Says these are active. I don't know why they're. Like, I see the startup. That can't possibly be good. I need some sort of control over my plane, though. I'm gonna turn on SAS for a minute here. See if I can get some sort of. Autopilot help. Okay. How high am I? 23? Okay. Oh, what the heck? Oh, it's backwards. That's weird. Okay. I don't know why it's... Uh, that's fine. There we go. We got an engine. Two good engines. choice, okay. Wobbling, SAS off. No idea what the ground is like, but this thing's gliding really well. I think we're over land. Maybe? I can't, I don't really know. I don't want to use the engine, so I'm going way too fast. I just want to put this thing on the ground. I'll worry more once we hit cloud level. A little ways to go. Yeah, I just wanted to pitch down a little bit. We can we can afford to bring it back up just a smidge here. Alright, SAS. Yo, my man, thank you for the party of nine raid. This, um, ooh, yeah, thanks, dude. Appreciate it. I'm new to all this, so it means a lot, really. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, party. Does KSV2 have air brakes? Not yet. Um, the closest thing to air brakes are if you put, like, stabilizers on the sides of boosters. Uh, for those of you who just uh, tuned in, I am attempting to land in the dark in a region of who knows where. <laughs> Highly expect to explode. Uh... Oh, you want to tell me about it? Was it the bridge challenge? Yo... Thanks, guys. Honestly. Like, I can't see Streamlabs, so I don't know exactly what's happening, but I hear the jingles. And I, I think there's an overlay that should be appearing, I hope. Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> you have to take a normal rocket, but launched from the runway. Oh. Um. Yeah. That's, um... Wait, do you mean like an air-launched rocket? Or are you literally just launching it from the ground on the runway?
Also, if I'm looking down because it's where my phone is, my phone has chat. <laughs> it's just it's so. <laughs> Horizontally with. I'm gonna come watch the VOD of that later. Cause that, that seems hilarious. It sounds, it sounds easy. I mean, I, I can try, like something small. I'm not gonna do anything big. But I have a couple ideas. I'm no like KSP expert, so I don't really know. That sounds easier in KSP 1, I'll tell you that. You have more parts to do stuff like that with. But, um, I guess to each your own if you want to try it in KSP 2. Try it. I have. We are so high up still. <laughs> Almost want to time warp a little bit just to speed this process up. At least to a thousand meters. Break the brain and crush everything you come up with. This is true. The Kraken, the Kraken will ruin your life. Yeah. Chat should be open to everybody. Um, for some reason, if it's bugged, somebody just let me know and I'll fix it. We're just flying in the dark. I hope the stream quality is okay. This is getting casted in 720p just because school internet. <laughs> but I, 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 I've been changing the bitrate, trying to tune it in so it doesn't look terrible. Good to know. Alright, well, we should be approaching the grounds eventually. I think I ended up going back up. I have no idea. Yeah, so th that's the thing, is I, I tried 1080p. Um because it looks better. Oh. I do believe we hit a mountain. I knew that was coming. <laughs> I guess it was the ground. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> All right, you got me curious now on this. Um, I'm gonna revert. <laughs> You have me curious now on this wheel launched rocket. Are there are there any rules I can follow? Can I use wings? Ground came a little faster than I expected. Yeah. Can I use an SRB? Is that allowed? More wings for a rocket equals faster. Hit a monstrosity. Okay, so. My first idea is to just put an SRV down, like, full on, oh wait, there's a button for this, yeah, okay, but I need some sort of control. Speaking of, have you been having the bug with anybody here, um, with like, controlling multiple vehicles, like the doesn't have connection to the space center or something. I don't know if anybody's here tried it. I'm gonna, I need a huge reaction wheel. Three reaction wheels? Not yet. Yeah. Just wait till you get the bug where you put the space center into orbit. That is an experience, let me tell you. Okay, I need this control pod medium. I assume I don't want to use a crew capsule for this. It's 
funny and hilarious as that would be, I'm not trying to kill Jeb. My computers. Okay, so I will say this. I am running on a 1660 Ti desktop. Um, which is below the minimum specs, which was a 2060, but honestly, I don't see that much performance difference in my laptop with a 3060 in it, so. I mean, if you're in the Intercept Games Discord, people talk about that in the specs channel all the time, but it's fairly likely your computer may actually be able to run this. Um how well I'm not sure but it's uh, yeah I do have a fairly recent I, it's like an Intel i7 10700 so my G CPU is pretty up to date I say up to relatively speaking alright so I'm gonna put <laughs> that seems way too big <laughs> We're gonna do that, then I probably want two control surfaces. Oh yeah. Go bigger? Hmm. Did I get hired by Raytheon? I'm not, I, I'm not familiar with that reference. If anybody should hire me to NASA for this. <laughs> oh, I see, I see now. Wait. <laughs> this is just a guided missile. <laughs> Oh, that's crazy. Um, okay. So I'm just gonna use landing gear, because that makes the most sense to me. Stability one, okay. I don't think that's further enough forward. Okay, so if you don't know how to make things fly, I'll tell you really quick. The center lift needs to be just behind your center of mass. Um, okay, so that, that should help, I think. I probably want the extra large wheels here, I'm not gonna lie. Have a, wait, was that the extra large? No. I grabbed the same thing. I guess we're making missiles now. What is this contraption for? Um, wh who was it? It was... How do I say that? Brozen? Bros? Rosiden? I, I don't know. M Mr. Bro. Um, Mr. Bro, it is cool. <laughs> Sorry, I'm bad at pronunciation. <laughs> um, he r said he tried to make a rocket with wheels launched from the runway, and I thought that was an interesting idea. And um, I, I'm. Maybe slightly trying to one up. <laughs> but I have no guarantees. Also, why is it doing that? Landing gear, why are you like this? <laughs> why? Why must you. Why must you be this way? I need, like, snap angle on. Okay. Sure. 
Okay, that seems like it may fly. I don't... I have no guarantees yet. Um, you all know the meme where it's like the missile knows where it is at all times. <laughs> That's what it feels like right now. <laughs> Stabilizer. Right? Okay, um... I definitely want the stabilizer wingspan to be larger. Ooh, 15. And now I'm going to color it, I guess. Paint, assembly. Make it all white and black. Black. Do white and white now for the base itself here. And then. Sure. Weapon. <laughs> Missile. <laughs> Shh, um, I don't, I don't know if this is gonna work, but we're gonna find out. Here we go. <laughs> I'm assuming. Oh, what happened? Structural failure. Something terrible just happened. <laughs> Can I revert to revert to launch? See what happens here. It's like the, th the thing just collapsed. Hmm. Maybe I need to put struts. Wing just disappeared. Yeah. Honestly, my wing just poofed. Oh, okay, it's fine now. Also, it's backwards. So we're gonna revert to VAB. Flip this thing around. <laughs> I don't know why it's backwards. Sure, okay, um, wait, it's this one, there we go, save, cancel, I want to save this, there we go, you could always try a vertical launch, but I feel like it's too easy, oh, weird, I have no, oh, yes I do, uh oh. Oh god. Uh, that's. Well, um. <laughs> what did we learn from this? <laughs> go, little wheel, go. <laughs> I definitely think there was a learning experience. Turn off back steering? That may work. I can try that. It's not very stable. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's very stable either. I was hoping it would be a little bit better than that. We'll tune it out and figure out what's going on. A, I feel that, man. <laughs> I feel that. Uh, okay, well, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the wheels are pointed inward. That's, that's not helping the steering at all. Um... So that alone is a nice change to have. Otherwise, I don't know what would disable the steering. Actually, that might just solve my problems altogether. So many little things. I don't even know why the wheels are like that. 
straight now. Okay. Nope, it just wants to slide sideways. Okay. Huh. I'm gonna try and launch again. I may be able to get it to just go up. I still don't... Hmm. It just wants to go right. Yeah, I don't know why it only wants to go right. It's, it's not like right or left, it's just that. Which the sink should be dead. The center mass should be perfectly fine, so it's. Go up, please. Oh god. Oh god. Here we go. Here we go. Well, we're up. We're in the air. <laughs> the missile. <laughs> Take off the landing gear. Oh god. This thing is so hard to control. Wheels <laughs> up. I'm trying, man. It don't work. It's like I have no control over the wheels. Let's try that. Okay. It's weird. G wasn't working. Okay. Um, this thing is atrocious. <laughs> I don't, I don't even know. It says I'm pointing retrograde. I have not a, a not a clue what's going on. Maybe SAS is overcountering. Hey, actually, that might have fixed it. That actually, that actually helped a lot. Alright, now can I collide it into the building? We just made a missile. <laughs> Under the bridge, no. The, the tail fin is, I, I think the wingspans, I'll try it. Go right <laughs> Boy, I can't wait for multiplayer to come out and then I just use this thing. This thing's going, getting a little too slow. I don't think I'm gonna make it to the bridge. I'll try. But I'm already at 80 meters per second. <laughs> well, not guided. I, I wouldn't call it an unguided missile. I mean, I'm, I have control over it. But we're gonna end up in the water. Up, oh, the whole thing just breaks. Cool, we'll revert to lunch now. Now that I think I have a solution to control this thing. I may be able to get a little oh. Lost my wheel again. Wing, not wheel. Thank you, KSB2. Very cool. How y'all doing tonight, by the way? I don't think I've ever asked. Alright. Let's say it's off. Hit the go button. Pray to God it doesn't do that. Okay, come on. Let me go up. Let me go up. Takeoff is still a little rough. But, like, as soon as we're on flight, it's so much better. Alright, here we go. We now have a missile. <laughs> oh, that's not, that's not good. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I lost my... Stabilizer. Hmm. That ain't good. Turn it, 
Yeah, I'm glad you're enjoying them, man. Still annoyed with the moon rocket, but it's alright. Bugs be bugs sometimes. Oh boy. Early act. Uh oh. Not enough glide, not enough glide. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll switch this up. I'm gonna come back to that. The missile. Let me see if I can work something up off camera. I need to, it needs—it probably does. I—I I don't know what's causing the craziness on launch. Okay, so I believe multiplayer is—I believe how they worded it was four agencies with four people per agency. So I believe it'll be up to sixteen. You may need to go and double check that for me, but I believe that's what the case is. Okay, I revert to BAB. Just a, just a raise of them. <laughs> I could I could do more wheels too on the bottom. I could definitely do more wheels on the bottom and just kind of see what's going on. There. I think I'll switch it up though. I want to do another flight of my shuttle. I don't think I've... Yesterday I streamed and I only got so far with this and it got deleted. But then I remade it. So. This thing does fly. I have tested it. I had 16 wheels at one point. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Were you having the same issue then? Okay. I don't know, what, what do I put in here? I, I have this huge cargo bay. I'll just fly without right now, but... Yeah. It does fly, I do have to kind of manually fly it. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. Game, why are you like this? Game, game, why are you like this? I need to just like clip together <laughs> a compilation of just losing a random part when trying to launch <laughs> and having this happen. It's wild. Rocket no longer, honestly, honestly. Okay, wait, is the same thing gonna happen again? Okay, I'm missing struts. I don't, I don't think we're gonna revert to the. Nope. There, I'll watch. The, there you go. There's your explosion. There's your explosion. Is is my SRB missing struts? Or am I stupid? I need to look. I know this has happened before. My struts just got yeeted. Maybe I forgot to save with the struts on. Yeah, there is. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, that's got struts. That's got struts. Okay, this whole thing's strutted. Odd. I don't know why it's doing that then. I guess I can add a couple more. It won't hurt.
I have not a clue what is happening here. It's almost like the... Oh, weird. It's the... I see what's happening now. It's like the wrong mode. It's not quite... Flipping on correctly. It's so weird. Okay. Sure. Let's see if that helps. Launch towers? So, my thing with the launch towers is they tend to... ...not help. You, you, your rocket, like, runs into them and then it starts tipping. It's weird. I don't know. Oh, okay, so all my orange struts are just... Half of them are bad, I guess. I don't know. They're kind of bugged out. Where are the wheels? Okay, so, we're gonna, uh, the wheels on the shuttle are, you have one right here, one right here, one on the other wing. Alright, here's the launch sequence. I'm hoping the engine angle is right, and I don't have to redo that. Oh, you want me to put wheels on this thing? <laughs> that's... that's... that's a bit insane. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Alright, we got... This thing took me forever to get right. I did. I spent like an hour putting this together last night. I think this is the first proper shuttle that I've ever made in KSV, so... I think the music really sells it, not gonna lie. <laughs> and the sounds, too. I couldn't find, like, a good part for this, so I just put an engine play here. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, shuttles are hard, because you have to get the thrust in the right spot, or else you're gonna give yourself a headache later. I'm trying to use these SRBs to get up pretty high, but I do want to pitch over it a little bit. I have no payload in this thing, just... FYI on that department. Okay. It's the other way. It's up. Oh, roll the other way. Roll the other way. I was. This is. This is the fun part about this shuttle. Is it's a bit. It's a bit finicky on the controls, so I have to s sit here and manually. Okay. So roll that way. I have to sit here and manually try and fly this thing down a little too much. We're gonna get to orbit. It's the last thing, thing I do. I just wish I had better, like, roll stability or something here. Oh boy. I think actually jettisoning the boosters is probably gonna help. With that, something exploded. I hope it wasn't important. Uh-oh.
There we go. That's what I wanted from this. It's pitched down a little way too far, though. Yeah, this thing's finicky to fly. But also the thrust to weight on on it on launch is pretty horrible after you separate the SRBs, so it's um it's a work in progress. I really I could probably do with a little less fuel. Um You know, it was almost clean. I swear I know how to do a clean launch. This is just not happening today. Nominal me, no, nominal space shuttle launch. <laughs> yeah, I will, I'm, I'm pitched down way too far though. It's not. Maybe I'm just messing with it too much and need to leave it alone. I don't know. I'm trying. I need to bring my pro grade back up. Sleep. Alrighty, man. Thanks for stopping by. I'm just gonna be a lot more KSV2 stuff since this game's out now. Um, so if you want to come back. Feel free to watch more shenanigans and <laughs> laugh at how bad I am at this. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for coming. Okay, so my prograde is like all the way horizontal. That ain't good. It's, it's, it's off nominal. We are Okay, this thing still says I'm going up, but I'm not going up. <laughs> this is not a nominal launch anymore. 1300 meters per second. I have the Delta V for it. We do have the Delta V for it. What I'm worried about, though, is why in the world my thrust is not like okay I'm gonna try this and we're gonna go almost a little bit backwards in hopes I can bring my prograde back up I think that's working I just don't want to waste so much fuel trying this I may need to revert we'll see we'll be close World's most expensive helicopter. <laughs> yeah. Listen, when I, when I tested this, when I tested this last night, everything went perfectly smooth for a try. After I worked out the kinks out, today is just not happening. In fact, I'm almost tilting backwards, and I'm still going that way. It's just hilariously wrong, but. Yeah. It's it's going up. I don't think I have the Delta V for orbit anymore. I mean, I guess I can... Should I just separate? I, I can try and push it. I don't know how well that's gonna go. Because my... The rate I'm increasing my orbital velocity is not nominal anymore. It's just gonna blow up. Yeah, that's true. I don't know, my Apogee is actually approaching a fairly decent margin. I just don't think I have enough fuel. It's it's not going to it's not gonna it's not gonna make it to orbit. I mean, maybe. It'll be close. I, oh, I didn't even realize how high my apogee is anymore. Alright. We're going to do a managing cutoff here. Look how steep my trajectory is. It's ridiculous. Even extra 300. Yeah, but I don't think 200 is there. I mean, 200 will be something, but I don't think it's quite what I need. I was just saying we were shy of 2,000. Sorry, not 200. 
earlier, but it may be enough. We'll see. Okay, I need... I'm gonna use SAS and kind of do a little taps on the throttle here. And... go, go, go. <laughs> oh god. Here we go. This will tell me if I have enough fuel. <laughs> I need now is to hope I have enough. Uh oh, that ain't good. Come on, game. I don't know why it's why it's doing that. It's a bit of nonsense. Okay. above okay see that's my other problems I'm going back down I don't know odd this thing put me way above this is not a nominal space shuttle launch in fact really it's See, it's saying my apogee is a hundred thousand meters, but my map says I'm gonna crash. I'm believing the map more. Yeah, I don't. I think we're actually going down. It's not really past 100,000. I don't. Th I started burning at like 100. So there's no way we get 150. I mean, I'll go rewatch it later and see. But I do believe the shuttle is stopped. We're gonna, you know, it was fun while it lasted. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see here. Nice. I'm gonna take off. Yeah, of course. I'm about to probably head out as well. Um, thanks, guys, for showing up. It's actually really nice to have somebody in here to chat with. Um, I I also do TF2 content. I don't know who those are interested, but I do. Uh, I play on my school esports team, so I do stream matches and stuff like that on here. Um, gonna be a lot of carpal though, so anybody who wants to stick around for carpal, why not? Catch you next time. Yeah, all right. Again, thanks for all of you guys who came out. I'm actually gonna save this really quick and go with the main menu, but. Yeah, good time. Uh, I'll catch y'all next time. Yeah, you guys take it easy too. Alright. Yeah, thanks everybody for coming out. And stuff like that. I suppose I will just end it here. I'll let everybody say bye. I'm not gonna just close the stream. But yeah. Thanks guys for coming to chill out. <laughs> and stuff like that. And I will see y'all next time.